the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 194, Isaiah 64-66 Glory and Peace God promised the new heaven and new earth and the complete restoration and glory of Israel which would be realized after all sins had been forgiven. First point, Isaiah sang that God was our Father and that He was the Porter. Isaiah prayed for the people of South Judah. Isaiah first the song of God's power. Isaiah then confessed the sins of his people. Isaiah sang of God the Creator and thanked God for his plans to save Israel. Isaiah in chapter 29 referred to God as the porter. Now in Isaiah 64, he used the metaphor of God as the porter, and the people as his clay, and that the porter would show grace and mercy. Second point, to Isaiah's prayer for the people of South Judah, God's response was that he would protect the remaining people. In response to Isaiah's prayer for the people of South Judah, God said that he would punish the people for their sins and grant mercy on their surrounding nations. God added that he would save and protect those who remained behind. However, to those who refused to repent until the end, God proclaimed severe punishment. Third point, the book of Isaiah and Revelation both focuses on the new heavens and the new earth. God's vision of the new heavens and the new earth was given to Isaiah and also to John in Revelation. In Isaiah, it is recorded, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. Next is the record in Revelation. He who was seated on the throne said, I'm making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. God's vision of the new heavens and the new earth was a place where past memory did not exist. No sound of crying or lament could be heard. No child or old person had to die. No hard work was in vain, and there was no disaster. God replied before one called to him, and God would always be there to listen. Fourth point, God rebuked those who worshipped superficially. God rebuked the people who worshipped God only on the surface. God does not find pleasure in this. He finds pleasure in heartful worship. God also listens to those who have distress in their hearts and others and fears God's laws. God looked favorably upon David and Solomon's worship. God also listened to Isaiah's prayer, who prayed with an honest and fearful heart. God used the metaphor of a child being born to symbolize the restoration of Jerusalem and confirmed that it would indeed be restored. Fifth point, God proclaimed that after his final judgment, those who remained would return as priests and Levites in the kingdom of priests. To those who refused to repent until the end, God proclaimed, See, the Lord is coming with fire, and his chariots are like a whirlwind. He will bring down his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. God furthermore claimed that those who were to remain behind would later become priests and Levites, and they would praise God in the newly restored Jerusalem temple. And I will select some of them, also to be priests and Levites, 
says the Lord. As the new heavens and the new earth that I make will endure before me, declares the Lord. So will your name and descendants endure. From one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all mankind will come and bow down before me, says the Lord. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.